Yes, I'll call this meeting the Black Hawk County Board of Supervisors to order. Uh, roll call, please, Mr. Veter. Hall. Here. Leyland. Here. Little. Jelka. Here. Schwartz. Here. Please join us for a moment of silence to reflect on today's actions. Please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'll first entertain a motion on the agenda as received or as proposed or amended. So moved. Second. So it's been moved and seconded. Any discussion or questions? Hearing none, all those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, the agenda is approved. Next, we'll move on to public comments. If there's anybody either in the boardroom or on Zoom that wishes to make a public comment on something that's not an agenda item, please do so at this time. <coughs> all right, seeing none, we'll move on. Uh, this is a, we have a proclamation. I declare the week of May 6th at National Nurses Week. <coughs> Mr. Reader, if you'd like to read the. Yes, sir. Whereas over 4.7 million nurses in the United States comprise our nation's largest health care profession, whereas the depth and breadth of the registered nursing profession meets the different and emerging health care needs of the American population in a wide range of settings, whereas a renewed emphasis on primary and preventive health care will require the better utilization of all our nation's registered nursing resources, whereas more qualified registered nurses will be needed in the future to meet the increasingly complex needs of health care consumers in this community, whereas the depth and breadth of the registered nursing profession has faced unprecedented times that most of us never imagined, whereas the cost-effective, safe, and quality health care services provided by registered nurses will be an ever more important component of the U.S. health care delivery system in the future, whereas nurses demonstrate courage, compassion, dedication, and leadership in caring for our impacted communities at great risk and personal sacrifice, whereas the American Nurses Association has declared the week of May 6th to 12th as National Nurses Week in recognition of the professional integrity and essential value of our nursing workforce. Now therefore be it resolved that the Black Hawk County Board of Supervisors have declared the week of May 6 to 12, 2024 as National Nurses Week in Black Hawk County, Iowa. I so again, special thanks to all the nurses that work for us uh, in the health department. Um, this uh, was passed by the, the Board of Health last week and I thought it would be a good thing for the, us to do as well. I believe we have a motion, right? I'll make one. <coughs> Second. This has been moved and seconded. If there's no further discussion or questions, uh, roll call, please, Mr. Reeder. Hall? Yes. Leyland? Yes. Trelka? Yes. Works? Yes. Uh, next, we'll move on to claims and payments. This is a resolution of the Board of Supervisors approve expenditures and that the county auditor be authorized and directed to issue checks against the various settlements of such claims as allowed. So moved. Second. Been moved and seconded. Ms. Sweeter. Good morning, board. Our total bill payment today is $450,852.48. And that is just a few dollars lower than the draft that was sent out, and they found an error in there. Um, and the 6040 fund portion is $3,295.78. That does include a payment of 31453 for the bison handling equipment and also for two dump trucks at $105,006 each. So we do have some capital coming in today. Everything appears to be in order. Any questions for me today? All right. One step closer to the rodeo out at uh, Hickory Hills. Yes, we are. <laughs> All right. All right. Any uh, questions, board? Uh, hearing none, uh, roll call, please, Mr. Beter. Leyland? Yes. Jalka? Yes. Hall? Yes. Schwartz? Yes. Uh, resolution is approved. <coughs> Next, we will receive project updates from department heads and elected officials. 
Good morning, board. Kathy Nicholas, engineer. Uh, next n Monday, excuse me, we'll begin mowing the paved road system here in the county, so uh, the public can expect to see some of the tall grass being taken care of along the paved road system. Uh, we will also we also issued a press release. The county did. Abby did issued the press release uh, yesterday on the spring. Uh, spray program and that did include the notification of the no spray program So we have already started receiving some calls on that and I just wanted to bring that to your attention that that is in the uh, The newspapers on the website. I, I think it was on KWWL last night So we are getting some interest in that policy. So can I answer any questions? Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. All right any other department heads or elect officials wish to provide an update this morning? All right, hearing none, uh, we will move on to uh, the minutes approved from the April 23rd, 2024 meeting. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion or questions? Hearing none, all in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, minutes are approved. Uh, we will have two different hearings coming up a little bit later in the meeting. Uh, the first is ordinance number 147, amending zoning ordinance number 36 to address changes to floodplain reg regulations. Then we'll have a hearing on the transfer of real estate from the city of Cedar Falls um, as to, this, to the city of Cedar Falls as part of Cedar Falls, Cedar Heights area rec reconstruction project. Uh, next, we'll move on to the consent agenda. This will be approved with a single resolution. So moved. Second. So we moved and seconded. Is there uh, any questions or discussion? Hearing none, uh, roll call please, Mr. Veter. Joko? Yes. Oh, yes. Leyland? Yes. Schwartz? Yes. Next, we move on to contracts and agreements. Uh, this is a resolution with the lowest responsible bid received from Aspro Waterloo, um, where the parking lot repairs, HMA paving with milling and concrete repairs, Project L903, uh, um, including uh, portions of the parking lots at the courthouse, Pinecrest, and then jail with a bid of 170000 and six dollars and seventy-eight cents be approved. The chair uh, signed the contract, conditional to receipt, certificate of insurance as recommended by Roy Giving. So moved. Second. Uh, good morning, board. Roy Giving, facilities director. Uh, as you know, we've received uh, two uh, proposals for this project, and after a careful review, uh, we are making our recommendation to go with the uh, Aspro Company out of Waterloo. All right, Mr. Moody, second. Is there any discussion or questions, board? Uh, hearing none, uh, roll call, please, Mr. Reeder. Hall? Yes. Leyland? Yes. Jelka? Yes. Schwartz? Yes. Resolution is approved. We'll now move on to other business. Item A, this is a motion to approve the uh, monthly COBRA health insurance rate, rates and coverage effective July 1st, 2024. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion or questions? Hearing none, all in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, same size. The motion carries. Next is a resolution to approve the renewal agreement with the Madison Life, National Life to offer 25000 of basic life insurance to county employees as part of the fiscal year 25 benefits effective July 1st, 2024, at the cost of $20,590.50 and direct the chair to sign for the same as recommended by Amanda Fesmeyer, Human Resources Director. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion or questions? Just a little bit of information on this. So we are increasing it or recommending to increase it to the 25,000. Um, several years ago when I first was at the county, we had each union kind of had different levels of life insurance. It was something they could bargain on. So we've been trying to get back to, this was the most that any union had, 25,000. We did a little market study on that and that seems to be the going rate. Um, I know I worked with Michelle a little bit on that and um, I think Lynn, Gow Lynn County actually pulled quite a bit of information together from other public sectors and being at 15,000 was on the low end. So not a huge amount, right, um, <coughs> an increase. We did look at a, an annual salary too, but that was quite a bit more expensive to do like an employee's annual salary. And we kind of want it to be more equal, just everybody get the 25,000 as opposed to be based on what your annual income is. So. Um, this will go um, and be updated if it is approved on our open enrollment flyer so that um, staff can go in and they'll actually elect for their beneficiaries there and so that they can kind of determine if they were to have to award that unfortunately um, for a life insurance uh, benefit that it would be in accordance with what they elect this year for open enrollment. So 
Thank you for your consideration. Any questions? That was an increase of about eight thousand dollars, mm -hmm. wasn't it? So. Yep. So over the, I mean, I think we pay about two dollars and seventy-eight cents per employee per month. So it's not going. It's you know not a huge increase no, to uh, no, offer it, but yep. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right, board. Any other questions or discussion? Hearing none. This is a resolution. Uh, please answer as your name is called. Uh, roll call, Mr. Beer. Leyland. Yes. Jonka. Yes. Oh, yes. Worked. Yes. The resolution is approved. Next is a motion that the Blackhawk County uh, wage listing be received and placed on file and direct the county auditor to publish in the Waterloo Cedar Falls Courier. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Next is the motion that the appointment of Karen Wig as commissioner for 2024 Blackhawk County Eminent Domain Commission be approved. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion or questions? I did have a phone conversation with Karen, um, and it was, uh, I think that her, her philosophy will match, match the board on this. Um, this is one of those commissions that only gets called up when they're needed. Um, but it was, uh, uh, but the courts were anxious to have a complete list. <laughs> yeah. Great. Um, all right. If there's no further discussion or question, this is a motion. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. The motion carries. Next is a motion to accept the resignation from John um, Brudret um, as commissioner uh, for the Blackhawk County Planning and Zoning Commission, effective April 19th, 2024. So moved. Second. And I believe this is due to, I think they moved within the city limits. Yeah. No longer eligible, so. All right, if there's no further discussion or questions. I was just going to mention, uh, uh, as you've said that, uh, Tom, I know it was going to be posted after today's meeting after accepting his resignation, but we do have two candidates that have, so we get a few more, and maybe we'll okay. need to set up interviews. Excellent. All right, this is a motion. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. The motion carries. Item F is a motion uh, to approve the 2024 Eminent Domain Commission list. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Anyone, all opposed, same sign. The motion carries. Uh, item G, this is a motion to direct the county or to direct the <coughs> finance director um, <coughs> to advertise for a public hearing on the proposed fiscal year 24 budget amendment be held at 9.05 a.m. on May 21st, 2024 in boardroom 201 of the Blackhawk County Courthouse. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Oh, anyone opposed, same sign. The motion carries. Uh, next is item H. This is a motion to direct the county auditor to advertise for a public hearing slash bid opening to be held at 9.05 a.m. On May 14th, 2024, in boardroom 201 of the Blackhawk County Courthouse, 316 East Fifth Street, Waterloo, Iowa, on the proposed fiscal year uh, 2025 crack ceiling in various locations throughout Blackhawk County. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion or questions? Hearing none, this is a motion. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. The motion carries. Now I'll move on to item I. This is a motion to direct the county auditor to advertise for a public hearing slash bid opening to be held at 9.07 a.m. on May 14, 2024, boardroom 201 of the Blackhawk County Courthouse, 316 East 5th Street, <coughs> Waterloo, on the proposed fiscal year 2025 seal coating in various locations throughout uh, Blackhawk County. So moved. Second. This one moved and seconded. Uh, all those in favor? Uh, say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. All right, it is now um, 9.14 a.m. This is a hearing of proposed ordinance number 147 amending to zoning ordinance number uh, 36 to address changes to floodplain regulations. I'll make a motion to receive and place on file proof of publication of notice of public hearing. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion or questions? All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. 
I'll make a motion to waive the first reading as notice was published on April 20th, 2024 in the Waterloo Cedar Falls Courier in accordance with requirements of the Code of Iowa and publication was approved on the proposed ordinance to Blackhawk County, Iowa to update zoning ordinance number 36 to address changes to floodplain regulations. Second. All right, it's been moved and seconded. Uh, any discussion or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. I'll make a motion to close the hearing once oral and written comments are received and placed on file. Second. All right, we move second. Any uh, written comments, Mr. Reader? No, sir. Uh, Eric. Good morning, board. Eric Schrader, city planner in Blackhawk County Planning and Zoning. Um, the FEMA, Federal Emergency Management Agency, has produced new floodplain maps for Blackhawk County. So all of the jurisdictions within Blackhawk County are going through uh, this process. The new maps will become effective May 8th. Um, the county has to have this adopted and published ahead of that time. And as part of that, we also have to uh, amend our floodplain regulations to bring them up to current standards to meet the minimum uh, requirements that FEMA and the Iowa Department of Natural Resources have. So this uh, goes through all of the different floodplain regulations throughout the zone ordinance and tweaks them to bring them uh, up to those minimum standards. Happy to answer any <clears throat> questions you have on any of the specific changes. The actual floodplain maps themselves, um, for the most part, they don't make any real significant changes to what the previous uh, areas were, particularly in studied streams. Some of your main streams and tributaries are considered studied streams where FEMA has done a more detailed analysis of the floodplain. Uh, some of the smaller tributaries and drainage ways are unstudied streams where they've just approximated the boundaries. Those unstudied streams are where there's a little more um, adjustments than anything, but for the most part, not real significant changes to the maps. All right. Any questions? Any questions, board? Thank you. Here tonight, we have a motion on the floor to close the hearing. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. The hearing is closed. Um, I'll uh, make a motion to suspend the rules in the Board of Supervisors to consider and vote on the proposed ordinance at two prior meetings. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion or questions? This is a resolution. Roll call, please, Mr. Beter. Trelka. Yes. Oh, yes. Valen. Yes. Schwartz. Yes. Resolution is approved. I'll save you from saying all this, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> I'll make a motion that the proposed amendments would update multiple sections of the Blackhawk County Zoning Ordinance number 36 to address changes to floodplain regulations, apply updated FEMA flood mapping, and make related changes as required to remain in good standing with FEMA and the National Flood Insurance Program, and to consider the same for adoption, and if adopted, would be known as Ordinance number 147. All right, it's been second. Second. And, and just just to clarify that was a motion to adopt it right yes okay yep. mm -hmm. second. all right it's been moved and seconded to adopt the ordinance any discussion or questions <coughs> hearing none uh roll call please mr peter hall yes Leyland. yes Jalka. yes Work. yes resolution is approved uh now it is uh about nine 18 a.m. This is a hearing on proposed transfer of real estate to City of Cedar Falls as part of Cedar Falls Cedar Heights area reconstruction project. I will make a motion to receive and place on file proof of publication of notice of public hearing as notice was published on April 20th, 2024 in the Waterloo Cedar Falls Courier in accordance with the requirements of Code of Iowa and the publication was approved. Second. Been moved and seconded. Any discussion or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. All I will make a motion that we close the hearing after receiving oil and written comments and they are placed on file. Any uh, written comments, Mr. Reader? No, sir. All right. This is a motion to close the hearing. Uh, is this, there anybody else that wants to speak to us? All right. All right. Seeing so none, uh, all in favor say aye. 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 All I will. Go ahead. Uh, let's see. I will propose. I, let's see. I, 
to enter an agreement and to authorize the chair to sign the same for the sale of parts of lots five and six of Lupton's timber plant in the city of Cedar Falls, Blackhawk County, Iowa. I will make a motion second that we do so. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion or questions? Hearing none, this is a resolution. Uh, roll call, please, Mr. Veter. Balin? Yes. Trelka? Yes. Paul? Yes. Schwartz? Yes. Resolution is approved. I will make a motion that we authorize the chair to sign a quit claim deed for the transfer of title for one dollar and all other valuable considerations with all costs associated with the transaction borne by the transferee to that real estate. Second. All right, this, this is a resolution. It's been moved and seconded. Uh, is there any discussion or questions? Hearing none, uh, roll call please, Mr. Veter. Jelka? Yes. Paul? Yes. Leyland? Yes. Schwartz? Yes. Resolution is approved. Item 11, any reports or information from the board? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you, mm -hmm. everyone.